Hello and welcome. This is Sam. We are learning to make a powerful HTML5 video player. In the last two video lessons, we have learned the basics of HTML5 video and uh, video.js library. Today we are going to dig further and learn so many key things. And sorry for the little noise, it's raining outside and my intelligent microphone is picking that sound. Okay, first things first, let's create a new JS file. Let me name it as videoplayer.js and save it quickly. Let's pull this JavaScript file here. Source video player. That's right. We already seen how to control the player using video.js object in our last video lesson. With that being said, I can write like this var player equal to video.js of video player. Don't forget this is the ID which is given to the uh, video tag. Let's talk about video.js options. Say for example you want the video to play automatically, you already know how to do it. Just add autoplay attribute to the video tag and it will do the job, as simple as that. But we can achieve that using this video.js options. Not just that, we can do a lot with this. Let's explore one by one, starting from autoplay. Let's open up a curly braces here and set autoplay, sorry, autoplay as muted. Actually, you can set true, false also, but always remember modern browsers autoplay the video only if, only if your video is muted. That's why we have set it to muted. Also remember at this point, the autoplay attribute and this option are not a guarantee that video will autoplay. When we look at our video tag, uh, we have this like muted controls, these kind of attributes. So I want to just remove this. I, I also wanted to remove this poster attribute, but before that, let me take this and let me remove this. We can set a controls and set it as true and poster and paste the value here. This way we can clean up some HTML code. So far we didn't do anything new. It's time to look at some new options. If you want to play this video on loop, you can set the option loop as true. Okay, let's give it a shot. So far we didn't try anything, so let's give it a shot. Okay, let's play this video manually. And let me go to this end of this video. Okay. Yeah. Once the video is done, it's started playing again. As you can see, this video is not occupying this full page. There's an option called fluid. Uh, let me set it here. So this will take care of responsiveness of the video. See how it looks like. This option will now take care of your different devices in different sizes. Also, you can even set the aspect ratio. So there are two options. One is you can go for 16 is to 9 or you can go for 4 is to 3. Let me go for 4 is to 3 and let's give it a shot. Okay, great. Now the most important thing, when you watch YouTube videos, you will have a controls here to uh, control the pl uh, playback speed. Here you will have that option. Um, now we are going to bring it uh, to our video player. Just by adding one more option. Okay, this should be capital. Playback rates. And this will take us, this will take an array as a value. Let me pass 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4. Actually, the choice is yours. You can pass any number of values here. Let's give it a shot. Let's play this video. Okay, we got these options. But what about 0 0.25? Okay, it's there. So the magic has happened. To learn more about these video.js options, you just navigate to uh, videojs.com and uh, take a look at their docs, that will help you. Now we need to add keyboard shortcuts to our video player. All we have to do is add just one more attribute, user actions and hotkeys 
as true. Now let's give it a shot. Okay, space to pause the video, space to play again. Okay, that is working fine. Now F to full screen, again to leave the full screen. Okay, M to unmute, unmute it again. Okay, everything is fine. Let's skip the video by pressing the right arrow. I don't think it's working because it's not supported it. So we are going to use the dedicated plugin to handle all the professional use cases. Before that, let me remove this fluid and uh, aspect ratio just for the simplicity. And we have to remove this user actions since we are going to um, use a plugin. Uh, let's navigate to videojs.com plugins. Okay, search for uh, what keys? There you are. Okay, where is that CDN? Let's copy this and paste it here right below this video J CDN. And let's let's make a little change here. Since I'm using local file. Okay, let's set up this plugin. Plugins on the plugin name is hotkeys and the options. Let's leave this as it is and see what we got. Okay, let's play this video and space to pause, space to play again. Uh, right arrow to skip the video. Okay, left arrow for the backwards. M to unmute, unmute. That's working fine. Up arrow, okay, first unmute again. Up arrow to uh, raise the volume and down arrow to reduce the volume. That's working fine. Okay, F to full screen and hit again to leave that. It also comes up with uh, one more feature. If you hit command plus one, uh, control plus one on Windows and Linux, okay? It will take you to the 10th percentage of the video. Same way, when you hit command plus nine, will take us to the 90th percentage of this video. If you like this feature, you can leave it as it is. But I'm going to disable this because I use uh, command plus numbers to switch between the browser tabs. Many people will do that, so I don't want to suffer Okay, so I'm setting numbers as false. And one more thing, when we seek the video using left and right arrows, uh, it is stepping up or down by five seconds. But YouTube will seek by 10 seconds by default. In our case, I want to try uh, with um, 30 seconds. So seek step as 30. Let's give a shot. Play this video, right arrow. That's great. It's taking us to the okay 30, 30 seconds and backwards. Now I'm pressing command plus two. Okay, it's still working. Let's check what's wrong. Enable modifiers for, sorry, it's numbers. Let's give it a shot. Command two. Okay, see, it's taking me to the second tab in the browser, which means we have successfully uh, successfully disabled it. Okay, let's go back to the video and pause this. Okay, that's all. Hope you guys learned something new today. In the next video, we will continue improving this video player. Thanks for joining today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with others. As I always say, you guys consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon to get the instant notification. Take care. Bye-bye.